Women are having children later. 14% of first-time moms are age 35 or older. So I've got SavvyAuntie.com, which is the first online community for cool aunts, great aunts, godmothers. These are women who love the children in their life, and they want to spoil these children with love, adoration, and, you know, maybe some gifts. <laughs> the Huffington Post just did yeah. a huge story it's on huge. you. It's huge. It went viral. And what was the story about? So the truth about childless women. Look, there are women many reasons why women don't have kids. They're 22, they're just not there yet. They um, are child-free by choice. They've made that choice. That's the right choice for them. They have biological infertility. And then there are many women like me who are what I call circumstantially infertile. We just haven't met the right guy. I have a large social media following. It's about social influence. It's about connecting with these women where they are and where they can find you and how they can connect with each other. We're sort of this first generation of women in their 30s and 40s who didn't know that we wouldn't be able to to have the career that mom didn't have and the family that mom did have. We want every little niece and nephew to have the hottest toys of the season. Oh, except this one. No, Very okay. Nice. Uh, I'm oh. going to need security. Where's security? The pet? What happened to that hamster? Where's Somebody security? Where's security? Brands like PepsiCo, like Hallmark, like Disney, come to me and say, we know that you have influence with these women. Can you be a mouthpiece for us? With us is children's style expert, Melanie Not yet. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Megan. Well, I have some very fashionable company here with me today. Anthood is not a legal obligation. Anthood. I've never heard it called that. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, the whole tribe is the entourage. We have a lot of ant-type words in the book. Tell me about the book. The book is called Savvy Auntie, the ultimate guide for cool ants, great ants, godmothers, and all women who love kids. And essentially, it's really from the moment you find out you're going to be an ant, oh, the anticipation, <laughs> <laughs> to what to expect when she's expecting, so that you're savvy in all aspects of this child from the moment you find out you're going to be an ant. I would love to be a mother. And, and in fact, I said in the piece, you know, just because maternity didn't come to me does not mean I'm not maternal. And in fact, right. so many women love the children in their life. They love children, their nieces and nephews, their next door neighbors, and they give very generously to children around the world. That's it's right. an amazing group of women. I no longer use the word childless. I say child full because like we that. choose to love the children in our lives. When I was a little girl, I had a, a Fisher Price dollhouse, and I think those little kids grew up and moved on up to the Upper East Side, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> This dollhouse is a super deluxe dollhouse, yeah. and I love it. That's about $129. Now for the Glamazon. The Glamazon here, again, back to the metallics. Here we have this great silver poofy skirt that goes along with this whole one-piece outfit from Un de Trois. And actually underneath it's got this straight skirt, so it's that layered look mm -hmm. that we're all wearing as grown-ups. The kids are now wearing it, too. You wrote your book. Tell me a little bit about it, because I know it takes you from A to Z in terms of child-rearing, actually. For the moment you hear you're going to be an aunt for the first time through their first day of school, you know, how to make sure you help develop their minds. We went to Sesame Workshop and talked to Do Dr. T Rosemary Truglio. Learn how to develop their minds and spell, spend qual anti time with child. Um, we learn how to shower them with the right gifts and about safety and about nutrition and all of those things, a way for a secondary caretaker to really support children.